Hi everybody, it's Geordie from Geordie Colours. Thank you so much for joining me. I um, I wanted to get another video out this weekend and I was thinking of doing a colouring video and then I decided to take the easy route and share with you my current top 10 colouring books that are in my collection. So um, I just, I'd been thinking about which colouring books I liked the most at the moment. I'm pretty fickle, so... <laughs> my um my top choices change but there are there are probably three or four books in this pile that have been my favorites for a long time and some that are new favorites um so i wanted to share them and i just thought it would be a fun little video to do so i'm going to pop these off to the side and then i'm going to talk about them and uh tell you why i like them so give me a sec and i'll move them out of the way Okay, so hopefully you can see that okay. It's not too glary. I've, um, I'm filming this in the evening again, so it's a little dark. I've got my lamp on, hence the shine of the light, but hopefully you can see. Um, so my first choice is Mythic World by Kirby Rosans. Now, I've only done one page in this book, which I did this one, which is um, the, what's it called? Um... I'm gonna have to look it up at the back. Um, it's got a unusual, it's like the nine tails, Kumiho, that was it, sorry. Um, it's like the fox with nine tails and um, seven tails? How many tails has she got? Four, yeah, nine tails, <laughs> I was right the first time. Um, so this is the only page I have done in this book and I have had this book for quite a long time, um, but I love it, I love, flicking through it. I've got to admit to being somewhat, um, I don't know what the word is, a little overwhelmed sometimes when I look at it. Um, but I just find it absolutely stunning. I love the artwork. I love the theme of all the different kind of myths from around the world, myths and legends. Um, and I love the variety of pages, the different elements. You've got um, nature scenes, you've got kind of monsters and unusual creatures. Um, but it's just, it's a really beautiful book. Um, and I definitely want to do more in here. Um, I haven't got plans for this month, but I would like to. So that <laughs> shows you how long I've been thinking about this. Um, Last May, so May 2023, Elm Colours did a mermaid hashtag and she had some prompts and I was thinking about doing this one um, for her kind of dark mermaid prompt. So I'd printed out some inspiration images to give me some ideas and never did it. But I still think that would be quite fun. Um, but yeah, I do, I do just absolutely love the artwork in this of all Kirby's books. I think this one is my absolute favorite. Um, like I say, I just love the variety. I love the fact you've got some really beautiful images, some more scary images like this one. You've got some more kind of, um, you know, like water, woodland scenes. You've got, it's just got a variety in it and it's, it's interesting. Um, I think the pages would be fun to color. I just need to do more of them. <laughs> um, but having done one, I feel uh, a lot more confident to do more. So I'm hoping to get to this book in the future. Um, but I do absolutely love this one and I have loved it for quite some time now. Just need to colour more in it. So it's Mythic World by Kirby Rosans. So that's my first choice. My second choice is perhaps a little bit of a controversial one in terms of Johanna Bassard books. But it's World of Flowers. Um, this, I love colouring floral images. And I know a lot of people love her um, Worlds of Wonder and Rooms of Wonder books. I like those books, but I'm not as drawn to them as I am to this one. Of all her books, this is definitely my favourite. I have done a few pages in here. But again, I just love them. I love this double page spread. I love, um, I mean, they are all 
pretty much floral based, but you've got some with animals and creatures in it. So you've got butterflies, you've got strictly floral pages. Um, but I think the reason I like this, this book the most of all my Johanna Basford books is that there is less blank space in it <laughs> than there are in other of her books. So the pages are fuller. Um, there are, you know, exceptions to the rule, like this one where there's a lot of blank space. But in general, the pages are quite full. There's a lot um, to colour on each page. And again, a few exceptions, but not so much blank, blank background to worry about. <laughs> Which, so here's one of the pages I've done. I did this a long time ago, actually. Um, it was a one colour challenge and I really enjoyed it. Um, it was when I very first got my Prismacolor pencils, so I wanted to try out all the beautiful blues on this page. Um, but yeah, I think that's why I like this one. There's, there's just less blank space to worry about. And I do find that a struggle with some of her other books. I love the images in her other books, but I find the blank space overwhelming and intimidating and, um, yeah, just a bit of a struggle to figure out what I'm going to do with them. So that's why I love this. I also just love florals. So it's a good combination for me. So that one is Johanna Basford's World of Flowers. So another book, let me zoom you in slightly, that has been on my kind of favorites list for quite some time, many, many years actually. I've had this book. This was one of the first um, coloring books I ever bought and I fell in love with it immediately. Didn't do a great deal in it to begin with, but I have done a few pages now and I absolutely love it. Um, I love Rita Berman's travel books. I love Europa. I love um, Asia. I love Africa. But of all her books, I think this is my absolute favorite. Um, <laughs> You can see that I had this very early on, made a bit of a mess. I haven't done much in the back. I'm hoping that I can get a few pages or at least one of these pages done this month. I have flagged them for this month. Um, but again, there's a wonderful variety. There's lots of seasonal pages. So this is one that I've done. There's a few kind of wallpapery pages like this one, but I think you can be quite creative with how you do these. So kind of in the winter section here, um, you've got some autumn pages. Um, I just love the variety of images. I love, I love animals and nature pictures and pages. So I love coloring this kind of theme. Um, but there really is just a huge variety of beautiful images. And I know this was one of her first books she ever produced, but I still think it is one of her best. Absolutely love this one. Um, again, there's, you know, there's simpler pages, there's more complex pages, um, wallpapery pages. There's something for everyone. This is one that I just completed last month for Easter. Um, but I really love, really, really love this book and hoping to get some more done in it soon. I have got a whip in here that's been a whip for years and years. Literally, when I first got the book, I started with this page and I got that far and never got any further. So I do need to go and finish that. Um, but yeah, that's Die Welt under the Lupa Zuland by Rita Berman. Absolutely love this one. Definitely one of my favorites. Okay, one of my newer favorites. Um, this one I haven't had in my collection for very long. This is Hannah Carlson's Soulmates, um, or Spirit Animals, I think it's also called. I have the Dutch edition, so uh, mine might be slightly different to other people's. Um, but I, I don't know why I love this one so much, but I love the fact that you've got kind of a person and an animal um, on each kind of double page spread and obviously they're meant to be you know connected and intertwined somehow and I, I just really love the theme of this book. I have only done one double page spread in here which I did um, a couple of months ago um, but yeah I just love love Hannah Carlson's images 
Um, but I think this is definitely one of my favourites. Um, again, there's kind of a variety of different things going on, uh, different kind of themes. But like I say, all kind of animal and human based. Um, I'm not very good with skin and hair, so this book is definitely a challenge for me. This is the page I did, obviously. <laughs> But um, I love that you can use lots of different mediums and I love that the paper is really good quality. Um, and I would love to do more in this book. And yeah, I just, I think it's really beautiful. Really, really is one of, well, I think personally, one of Hannah Carson's best books. So that goes on the list, Soulmates by Hannah Carson. Next up, I couldn't have a list of my favourite books without including at least one Lulu Mayo book. I really enjoy Lulu Mayo. Um, I don't colour in her books all that often, but when I do, I just have a lot of fun. This is her newest one, and I think it's just adorable that, um, to be honest, any of Lulu Mayo's books could intertwine. I find them relaxing colouring. Um, you can be a bit fun with color palettes with like using you know metallics and watercolors and um different things this is the only page i have done in it uh which i did with my brute funa macrons and some soft pastel in the background um but yeah the images in this one are just so cute look at this it's just adorable um and they're just fun you know they're fun they're simple, you don't have to do them realistic. They can kind of, you can go a little crazy with colors. Um, I just really enjoy them. I've got this one flagged to try and get to this month at some point, which I really like to do. But yeah, I really love Lulu Mayer's books. And like I say, it's just fun, relaxing coloring for me. I really enjoy it. So that one is a Lulu Mayo's A Million Baby Animals. Okay, next up I have one that's pretty new to the list. Um, it's the best of Le Grand Classic Coloriage Mystère. Um, it's a Disney art therapy hatchet heroes book. I never quite know what order to say those things in. Um, but it's a colour by numbers book. This one is illustrated by William Ball, Jeremy Mariaz, Letitia Sala and Edward Avothi. So I bought a couple of these Coloriage Mystère books many months ago, um, probably well over a year ago, and they sat on my shelf untouched because when I kind of looked at them, I was like, wow, <laughs> you know, like they're quite detailed colour by numbers. They're not as simple as I thought they were going to be, and I kind of just put them aside and forgot about them. Anyway, last month, I pulled them out thinking that I wanted something kind of mindless to do. And I, with these books, I don't have to think about the colors. I, I just literally follow the color by numbers. So I figured I would give them a go and I have been absolutely hooked ever since. So I did two pages last month. I've already completed one page in this book this month. Um, I may even get another one or two done, but um, they're just really simple. This is one of the pages I did last month. Um, they're simple, they're fun, they're cute. They don't take long to complete. And um, despite the fact that I was initially a little bit overwhelmed, they're not that difficult actually. Um, I think some are more difficult than others, but on the whole, um, they're not too bad and they are just really relaxing coloring because it is just kind of mindless you're just following the numbers and adding the colors and the correct spaces so um, there's one that I did last month again um, I tend to use um, acrylic markers especially for the black lines and then I'm trying to use like Crayola or water-based markers for the background it doesn't look particularly neat. It's not like my best coloring or anything like that. But like I say, it is just a mindless 
colouring activity. It's very relaxing and it's a lot of fun. Um, it's one that I did this month, so I won't show that one yet. But yeah, I really enjoy doing these ones and I'm looking forward to doing some more in these books. So that is a best of a Le Grand Classic Coloriage Mystère um, Disney Art Therapy Hatchet Heroes whatever, what do you want to say? <laughs> um, it's quite a hefty book. There's a lot of pages. I think there's a hundred different um, illustrations altogether, but just yeah, really a lot of fun and very relaxing and mindless and easy. I like it. Really love it. Okay. Next up is another, a newer addition to my collection. Um, it's Moon Valley by Maria Trolle. I am a little bit obsessed with Maria Trolley and I'm actually thinking of making this a bit of a project book and trying to do one or two pages each month. I absolutely adore the images in this book. Um, again, you've got a nice variety of animals, of florals, of little people, but it's it doesn't have to be realistic again, which I like. You can be a little bit kind of creative with the colour. Um, but it's just adorable, absolutely adorable. I have three Maria Trolle books, but I think Moon Valley is definitely my favorite. I don't have her latest book, which is Starfall or Shooting Star. Um, I will hopefully be getting it. It's not available here in the UAE yet. When it does become available, I think I will grab it. Um, yeah, I do just absolutely love this book completely and utterly obsessed with it at the moment um like i say i'm a little bit fickle so my mind might change but i really don't think i'm gonna stop liking this book anytime soon um it's just so fun and again you've got a variety of different images different scenes that you can kind of color lots of florals which as i've said i really enjoy coloring uh, there's a page I've done this month, so I'll hide that one <laughs> to show you when I do my completed pages. I like that you've got some pages with black backgrounds. Um, uh, just, yeah, uh, really up my street. I love the kind of floral images, um, the little critters. I love the people. They're not, you know, massive kind of um, portraits that require a lot of skill in terms of skin and hair. Um, but I just really love this book. I think it's just beautiful, absolutely adorable. Really, really like it. So yeah, I've already, I've done two pages. This page was the first page I did. And then obviously I've just done a page just a couple of days ago. So I'm really pleased to have two pages done on it, but would love to do more. And definitely think I'm going to add it um, as a project book to complete at least one or two pages every month. So that is Moon Valley by Maria Trolley. Okay, so next up on my list is World Literature by Erie. This one is relatively new to my collection, but I just absolutely love it. I've only done one page in this book, um, but I'm planning to do another one this month and would definitely like to do more. Um, as the name suggests, it is a book filled of images from stories from around the world. So you've got Lucy and Mr. Tumnus from The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. Some of them I'm not 100% sure of, um, but there are, uh, there are um, information about all the pages here in the front. I have actually translated most of them, um, but... Some of them are not well known to me. As I say, they're, it's world literature, so it's stories from around the world. I'm not sure if this one might be The Velveteen Rabbit. Um, I think this one might be 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, maybe. Um, but this is Anne of Green Gables, which is one of my favourites. Um, so I just really love... Again, the variety of images. I love the style of the images. Um, 
just a really beautiful book really really stunning um i have a few eerie books now i have just ordered some more from japan i'm waiting for them to arrive so i cannot wait to get my hands on those i haven't colored anything in any of my other eerie books this is the only one that i have worked in really need to change that but this is definitely at the moment my favorite um and yeah, I can't really give you an explanation as to why, but I just really like it. Um, absolutely beautiful. So this is the only page I've done, which is actually up on a, as a colour along on my channel. This is Esmeralda from The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Had an absolute blast doing this page. I threw all sorts at it. It's got um, watercolour, it's got neo colour, it's got gel pen it's got pencil <laughs> um and it the it's stood up to it really well there's no bleed through on the other side a very very slight crinkling of the paper but nothing major so it, the quality of the paper is really really good and the images are just gorgeous so <laughs> i really love this book and definitely want to do more this is the one that, that i have planned for this month which is going to be a buddy color um, so definitely going to be doing that one this month, but would definitely like to do more in here as well. So that is Aries World Literature Book. Okay, down to the last two, which are both mythographic books. And um, I haven't done, yep, I haven't done anything in this one, but I love it. So I really need to do something in this book. This is Mythographic Magical Earth by Joseph Katambang. Um, definitely one of my favourite ever mythographics. Again, you've got a beautiful mix of kind of natural looking scenes with some fantastical elements to it. Um, it's just beautiful. Really love it. And every time I pull it out, I <laughs> flick through it and just go, oh, wow, look at that. You know, every single page in this book. I can imagine colouring. There's not one page that I look at and don't like. Um, so I think that is part of its appeal. And literally every single page I think is absolutely beautiful. Um, and yeah, I just, I do just need to colour it. So <laughs> um, really need to add it to the list, don't I? Um, but yeah, beautiful book really really love this book seen so many wonderful completed pages from this book as well um lots of inspiration out there but definitely want to color something in here i'm not sure if i'll get to it this month maybe i should try because i'm looking at it now and going oh, wow look at all these gorgeous pages so yeah um definitely one on my top 10 at list. Absolutely gorgeous. Mythographic Magical Earth by Joseph Kattenbang. And my final book is another mythographic also by Joseph Kattenbang. This one is Labyrinth. I literally got this book a couple of weeks ago. I have already completed a page in it, um, but I would like to do more. This was an unexpected purchase. I had seen the flip throughs of this book and not being overly impressed was kind of like, yeah, I'm a bit on the fence about it. But I saw it on Amazon and it was on offer at half price. So I decided to grab it. I'm so glad I did because flicking through it and seeing the pages in real life um, has really changed my mind. I think it's absolutely stunning really really love it um i love every page again just there's not one page that i look at and go nah wouldn't color that um, <laughs> i just i like everything um again you've got a good variety of kind of fantastical elements but with you know kind of natural scenes i just it's it's so fun um and yeah, and so creative. I think Joseph Kattenbang is just an incredible artist. I absolutely adore his work. Um, so this is the page I've done for this month, a little sneak peek there. Um, 
yeah, really like this book. And I might even try and get another page done this month if I have time. I'm maybe being a little ambitious because I have a few buddy colours that I need to get done. Um, but I did have this one flagged for this month, which is the rose with the kind of butterfly keys. <laughs> so, um, yeah, maybe if I get time, I might try and get this one done. But the great thing about these mythographic books as well is that they are single-sided. The paper quality is pretty good. Um, but being single-sided means that you can base things with alcohol markers and it takes a little less time than if you're just using pencils. Um, but yeah, just beautiful, stunning, stunning books. So that is my 10th and final book on my list of my top 10 coloring books at the moment, <laughs> as I say, that might change. I do, um, I am a little bit, for, I do tend to gravitate towards the same ones like World of Flowers by Johanna Basford, um, the, um, Divelt Under the Lupid Zuland by Rita Berman, if I'm saying that correctly. Uh, those ones I always tend to gravitate towards. Um, yeah, so my tastes change a little bit. And obviously when new books come out, I get a bit excited about them and think, oh, that's amazing. But these are kind of my top 10. Um, as I say, my Maria Trolley book, the Moon Valley book, is one that I'm looking to work on at least once a month um, for the coming months. I just absolutely love every single page in that book and definitely want to do more. Um, but yeah, just a little quick video for you today about my top 10. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite book is. I'd love to know. Um, it might be one that I've not heard of and I'd have to go and check it out, which could be dangerous, couldn't it? Um, before I go, though, I really I just wanted to show a little um, a, a very small haul that I have. Um, I just got my hands on this. this. I don't know if anyone has seen or heard of this brand before. It's um, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Ayuli watercolors. Um, Aren't they so pretty? So I placed an order with her and I got um, a bunch of little kind of mini uh, watercolors. But can you see the sparkle and shine on these? I'm really excited about it. She threw a couple of freebies in for me. Um, so these were the little freebies I got. Um, really excited to try these out. I really wanted to get my hands on some watercolors um, because I have a few, but I don't have too many uh, kind of pretty sparkly ones. And I saw these and just thought they were absolutely adorable. So I just wanted to throw this in at the end here to show you. Um, yeah, just beautiful. This is her card. She's on Etsy. If you guys wanted to check her out, um, uh, please do. I think I haven't tried these yet, but I'm really excited to have a go. Um, sparkle <laughs> look at the shine it's so pretty uh so really excited to try these out and see how they look um but i just thought i'd share that little kind of haul there at the end because i'm quite excited about it and uh, hoping to add some of these beautiful sparkly watercolors to my pages soon <laughs> so um yeah just thought i'd throw that one at the end so thank you so much for joining me today. Take care, everybody. Happy coloring. And I hope to see you again in the next video soon. Take care. Bye.